Hello guys, I'm Cameron from Graphics Learners and this is our sixth lesson and pretty important lesson on Element 3D course. So in this lesson I'm going to teach you all about lighting. What, uh, how we can realistically light objects in Element 3D. What are the basic methods? How to use them? Which lights are available? Are there some other options of lights in Element 3D plugin? Yes, I'm going to answer all of these questions. So let's get started with the two basic things. So the one is the fake GI, fake global illumination, which I'm going to show you right now how to create a fake GI. So first, I'm going to get this image and I have to composite an object on it. As you know, Element 3D works on compositing speed, so it's not difficult to composite objects in Element 3D. Um, it's really fast. So let's just go and get some 3D model. I have um, my best model where it was. Its name is Matthias and uh, I think so. it's not here. Yeah, there it is. So I'm going to import Matthias. I got it from the free 3 dmodelscom I'll put the link in the description so that you can go there and get that from there. So um, let me texture this up. <coughs> Excuse me. So first I'm going to add the texture to the torso and uh, wait, 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 torso diffuse, torso normal map and torso specular map then going for the legs and if there is legs diffuse legs normal and legs specular and for head is given there I like the free 3D models because they give uh, the exact textures along with some extra detail maps like these additional torso and it's a pretty nice and high poly model and so I'm going to import this up right here wait 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 because my system is not that much big and as you can see yeah we got it so here's our character I'm going to position it up in the right way I may have done that before showing you but just to remind some older things I'm just going to do that again so here's our character now I'm going to uh, do some kind of faking global illumination for that you are going to go to layer new and light you must know that uh, After Effects lights are used uh, with uh, Element 3D. So for some kind of sunlight or any uh, directional light, you're going to use parallel. And the color of the parallel light must be with uh, like the color of the objects there. So I may choose this color. And OK. So as you can see, it's really looking realistic from where the light is coming is from the back side as you can see there are some shadows so it's coming from the back side I'm going to take it like this and have to squeeze this up a lot bit so that I'm getting some hard shadows and I have to make it a hard light but that doesn't happen in real life because there is global illumination stuff in real world so we are going to create some faking global illumination effect so we are going to new layer and light there I'm going to select out ambient light and it and take its intensity to really low to 10 and pretty same color now as you can see we are not getting those hard shadows now we're getting hard shadows and now they are pretty smooth I'm going to take uh, the intensity up a little bit and that's nice we're getting some nice smooth shadows like in real world and uh, to just color correct this up, I'm going to change its color to something like it matches with the environment. Like this one. Uh, yeah, and for the other light, I'm also going to do the same thing because I've not chosen the, uh, the same color for that purpose. And now, as you can see, we are getting really nice shadows, but still uh, the intensity is less. I may increase the intensity so that now as you can see it's pretty much composited so let's see the result of the face because it has a lot of uh, detail 
without GI, it's like some horror man. And with the GI, it's pretty nice and realistic. And it's matching the environment, as you can see from here. So this was our um, first, uh, what you say, it, um, concept. And I'm going to show you the second one. That's not using these lights. We have to create global illumination. Uh, sorry, uh, not global illumination, but image-based lighting, which is really popular. For that purpose, you're going to use some kind of um, this kind of image. Uh, what you say, it environment maps. So you can also use some plain pictures, but there must be some kind of clipping in the lighting. So it's better you use these. So I have to color correct my this character. Uh, sorry, this character on here. I have to composite this thing, but it looks unrealistic. So for that purpose, I'm going to create free copies of my element layer. It may slow down your computer, but you don't have any other choice. So you have to do that. And we got it. Rename these uh, as I'm doing that. The same order. Specular. For our specular highlights. Then this will be a diffuse. And then this will be an ambient light. Now just duplicate and create three of these. Rename ambient E. E for environment. And now go for the second one. And that will be diffuse E. <coughs> Sorry. And that is specular E. So we got three layers. Now what I'm going to do is to select this and go to layer, pre-compose, and move all attributes into the new composition. And wait, 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 my computer got stuck. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah. And now just pre-compose this also. The same thing with that. And wait, 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 wait. This doesn't usually happen, but now and I'm showing you it, it is happening. That's bad. So you don't have to uh, make this a pre-composition because you don't need that. Now go to the ambient layer and into the render settings. Into the environment uh, override layer from none to ambient environment. Now go for diffuse. Go to render settings, environment and make this to diffuse environment comp. Now go to specular and in the environment go for specular uh, sorry not specular specular e comp one so this doesn't really did anything so now you have to go to the diffuse composition here go to composition and settings as pre composing makes another composition and take it to the lower size which is eight um, by four you have to do that with the diffuse and then select this layer and transform fit to composition. So now you got some kind of pixelated um, really disgusting image. But that's nice. Now go to your diffuse element 3D layer and uh, where is it? Yeah. Go to scene setup. Now what you have to do right now you have to select all of these things right here and um, <coughs> you have to re uh, reset all of these. All of these. So now go down for the torso and take the diffuse color to 100% black, specular to 1, reflection intensity, uh, wait, to 100%, make sure Fresnel is 0, and uh, do that for all of these things. That's pretty nice. So go and do that in the right manner, in the right way in order to achieve the same thing from here and uh, I know what's happening right now I must check it out there's some glitch or bug happening right now I may check it out right now so go to here and do that call intensity uh, wait 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 do it too um, why I'm using the slider I don't know so <coughs> I made it uh, some metal man or iron man, but uh, this is not the reality. Um, I'm going to check out what's happening. I did the diffusive composition 
and I'm having this and yeah it's pretty much there we got our diffuse character now I'm going to specular map composition and here I'm going to composition and composition settings here you are not going for the smallest one but the same resolution as I'm doing 64 by 42 and then transform fit to composition go there control D to duplicate the layer and hide this up now on the downward layer go to effect and uh, color correction and levels and crush this up crush the image until you get really light spots there and then uh, take this, this from uh, take the upper layer and uh, change its mod to divide and now go to effect a layer new and uh, sorry not the solid layer new and adjustment layer effect blur and sharpen where is it and Gaussian blur and make it something like it's barely looking you have you can barely look at it so now select out the specular layer and uh, go to scene setup here you don't have to reset everything just leave the specular map there and delete everything you have to do the same steps as you did in the diffuse but leave the specular to zero right here because we are using specular map right now and uh, as you can see we are getting some details, specular details right there from the map and uh, just clear out these things, take it to 100% and let's just see the magic that we are getting so it's something like cool man in black but uh, he isn't he's just a 3D model uh, anyways um, we have to complete the process so we are getting some uh, haunted man dark man in the street oh what happened everything destroyed no now at the diffuse element layer take normal to overlay let me check out yeah we're getting it and at the specular layer make it to add maybe I've done it in the wrong way let me check it out um, maybe this to overlay Wait, 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 wait. Take it to normal and uh, this to overlay and this to add. No, no, no. I did that. Sorry for all that fuss. But I know what happened. Now it's pretty looking like it's inside there. But I forgot one thing to do. The first thing I forgot. You have to go to layer, new, and light. And have to create an ambient light which is 100% uh which is of 100 percent intensity and has a color of white so now <coughs> we got a metal man like that but we wanted an ibl so what to do right now so what you are going to do is to go to output and there into the multi-pass mixture and decrease the reflect intensity or may increase it in order to get some realistic results like this one and may decrease the specular and go to specular and do the same thing try to fix these up and you're surely going to get some re realistic results as you can see right now now this is called IBL image based lighting we just used one light and no other parallel lights or something like that um, but what about some kind of point lights. Point lights are seriously not needed. Those can be used for some kind of um, pillars uh, having small lights on them which are of just small intensity. That's used for just uh, that purpose. And there are some other options in Element 3D um, for lighting which you can just test out by yourself. Which is here you can do that. Uh, don't use comp lights and add lighting as anything you want but that's seriously not interesting so this was all for the lighting tutorial and uh, check out the next rendering tutorial if you like our videos please like and subscribe and view more and more and spread the word around the world that we are creating some really cool tutorials on element 3d and we're going to create some really advanced tutorials on it soon thanks for watching